Okay, we're, we're playing triple C tuning on the banjo. And this is a long neck banjo with three extra frets, which you can ignore. A standard banjo doesn't have them. And the reason it's a long neck banjo is that way I can take the capo off and be down in triple A tuning for women leaders who often like to lead in A. Sex is common there. So um, we're triple C, and maybe you could tell Jabbar the, the notes on this are... Uh, um, so the, the, the fifth string here is uh, tuned to a, a, a G, G, and this one's a G, and the rest are C's. So one, two, and four are C's, and then you've got two G's. It's very similar to the guitar open tuning we use in Sufi Dances of Your Peace. Peace. Um, and uh, basically, I'm using this extrapolation of my guitar course, so we're just going to do very basic for you beginners, but I'm assuming at this point you're intermediate if you're learning banjo, and this is a simple introduction into banjo because this tuning is more adaptable to a lot of uh, the dances than a standard banjo G or double C tuning. Um, so I guess that would be it. Now, if you could play something we were just doing so you can give an mm -hmm. example of, of a nice... Uh, Zicker, maybe I need a, more, a little more light here, but go ahead and play something. Yeah. Just have the first chord, the fifth, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord. And we were playing. Thank you, uh, Jabbar. Maybe you could switch to something else now, something else, another zikr or, or another dance that everybody knows. Uh, why don't you try uh, Gopala, for instance? Just using finger picking and then play the B part. And show me your nails, Jabbar. Show me your fingernails. So you'll see his fingernails are long and hard. Yeah, sometimes people eat four packs of gel in their day to do that. Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't have strong nails, I use finger picks. Uh, some people use uh, different kinds of picking. There's uh, Seeger picking, which I use. Uh, uh, there's, uh, you just have to uh, decide what works best for you. There's also these mutes uh, sometimes I put in in there to soften up, uh, stick up a towel or something under the banjo if you want that effect. Uh, the resonator that you see on bluegrass banjos doesn't work so well for me. But you're going to have to interpret. We're just showing you one way the banjo can work for a lot of dances. Do you play anything up the neck? Can you show us something where you actually go up the neck a little? Show him the scale. Uh, actually, call up the scale for them so they can see. So that's the. Uh, what is this? The C. Yeah. D. So when I do it, let me see if I can show them. Um, when I do it, uh, what we're doing is I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but I, I call it zero on my course, and then second fret two, four, five. And then I start, well, you could go to the seven, but I call it zero, two, four, five. 
So that's basically our do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, whatever works for you so that you can learn the scale. It's important to learn that scale and then show them the, uh, the remind them of the minor scale, which means you flat the third one. So it's zero, two, flat third instead right. of the fourth. So instead of, instead of that, it goes Yeah. So you have to remember that one note when you're learning the minor scale. Uh, and now show them the chords uh, as far as the uh, one, four, five. You could say it's C, F, and G in this case, but in we'll the, the cable. So you uh, do the major one first. So, so that's a one. You can see, it's, you can see that on my guitar course. So these are the same as on the guitar. Just you know, strings are a little different, but same same basically position of the hands is a one chord or the C chord in this case, and then the uh, four chord. Yeah, it's a four chord. It's a simplified four chord. The extended one on the banjo are probably too hard to do it. You can try that one, but that's the one we use. And then the five chord, uh, show them the five chord. And then basically, when you're shifting uh, to uh, minor, uh, show them the one chord in the, in the minor. It's just different. So you just show them the, four, show them the major and then the minor so they can see the difference. That's the major, and then you just drop one finger down. The four chord and the five chord are the same. Mm -hmm. So that's the only change. And then show them a little bit, if we can, the chords up the neck, if you want to go up the neck. Because in the banjo, you do more up the network. You have to, because you don't have as many strings. So he's taking the four chord and moving up, and then at certain points, he takes the um, the uh, the one chord or this the four chord and moves them up. And there's a whole try to include at some point um, a uh, graph of the chords up the neck for banjo and guitar, but for now, you know, it, it's not too difficult. I'm assuming the level you should be at it now, this stuff shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Uh, if you if you have a problem, write us until I'm able to get a, up there. Um, anything else that's really beautiful before we close, Jafar, that you really liked? Is something in your favorite piece that really sounds so nice on the banjo? Well, let's, do, let's do that uh, minor zicker. Okay. to show you guys the most beautiful form because uh, Jabbar plays at such a high level and has such great nails for it. For me, I don't have the long nails anymore at 72. So basically, um, uh, I use, sometimes I'll use the kind of pit figure pick. It's whatever works for you. Uh, I, sometimes I use the finger picks, but I use them finger style. Uh, you can also just strum like this. Sometimes I use a metal flat pick. So again, uh, there's a lot of banjo techniques which can be adapted. And for me, I'm up the neck like. but you can, uh, you can. Uh, 
I hope that's a little lead in and I'm going to leave it to some of you other banjo players to develop this and put up your own videos. Uh, thank you. Uh, so thank you so much. So I got to push.